Hi everyone, this is Alfio Sando. Today I'm going to talk about Likud 1976, number of ways to arrive at destination. If you like videos, you can support me by subscribing my channel or click liking of these videos. To find the complete code and all the video list in video description below. At first, let's look at the problem description. Here we have NCT and a couple of intersections which connect each city. Then to travel from one city to another city, we have cost. Oh, so basically it's the time here. So basically this is a graph problem. So each city here we denote as a node. And for each intersection, we call it a edge. Then the amount of time travel between two nodes we call the cost of this edge. His graph is bi-direction edge, so basically say we can travel from one node to another one and to another one to, to the same one with the same cost. We want to know how many ways we can travel from the section 0 to n minus 1 in the shortest amount of time. Basically since there's multiple ways may achieve the same shortest amount of time. For the first example, so we can graph here. Then the final output is 4. This basically says the 4 ways. From 0 to 6, we can achieve the shortest amount of time. From 0 to 6 directly, we have cos 7. And 0, 4, 6, 0, 4, 6, we have 7 as well. The same for the rest of 2. Then let's look at others' alternatives. Say if we want to find 0, 1, 3, 6, basically 8, right? So it's much greater than 7. For this kind of short amount of time, we usually can solve this by Dijkstra algorithm. I copy paste the, my template to solve the Dijkstra algorithms in the green window here. So here I made a, a error here. So I so this sentence space is, is never needed. So you you can just ignore the sentence across by red line. So for that performance, we use to declare a two vector. But for this problem, is uh, kind of different because we are not only want to know the shortest amount of time, we also want to know the how many paths. So the, we open two vector here to record how many ways we choose from one node to another node in the shortest amount of time. For example, we want to know how many ways from zero to two in the shortest amount of time, not only from zero to three. We also want to know what's the shortest cost from travel from 0 to 2. In addition, we have a private queue here. This is a pair with cost and the current node, then sorted by the, sh the cost and the, the smaller one at the top. Then we initialize the initial node. We call, we have one way to from 0, to reach from 0, and uh, the cost will be 0. Then we put a initial node in the priority queue, then conduct a while loop. So uh, here it's, it's pretty similar than the breakfast search. We get the top elements, then we travel its neighbors to see whether we want to put the neighbors in the priority queue. Here we have two if condition. If we meet the first one, we will put, put the, its neighbor and the cost into priority queue. Second one, we only update the ways. After finishing all the priority queue, we return the last elements in the ways. So right now I will go through all the operation for this example step by step. Hopefully you can understand these algorithms clearly. First, we get a top parent's priority queue, which is zero and a zero. And our current ways as follows. Then we need to into the for loop, 
we can't calculate new cost for each neighbor. For neighbor equal to three. Here, we calculate new cost by current cost plus cost. Basically, the the edge three and the plus the current cost is zero. So cost is three and three whether it's smaller than the distance neighbor. The non neighbor is marked, so of course it's smaller than three. So we go into these parts, we update ways, distance, and put a priority queue, uh, elements in the priority queue. So we basically have to assign zero to one here, which means we have one way to achieve to zero, and uh, of course there's uh, only one way to achieve to three. We update the distance here. So right now the priority queue is three, three. We will go through this after we travel the old neighbors of zero. So next neighbor is one. The new cost will be zero plus three. So it's three. We put it in priority queue. Update ways distance. Same thing for neighbor equal to two. Then its power is one two. We put into priority queue ways distance. So at this point here, we finish all the neighbors of zero. So we've done this for loop and uh, we are going to another while loop. And on the while loop, we will take top elements, which is one, two. For first for loop, um, for neighbor one, we have new cost will be one plus one, uh, two to one, then will be will be two. So two, where the two is smaller than distance neighbor. Neighbor is one, one is three, of course, smaller than three. So we put a one, two into a priority queue. Plus the two, uh, we have this earlier. Then we have the ways distance. Then node two have uh, an unneighbor, which is zero. New cost will be one plus one, but it's greater than zero. It doesn't meet any requirement of this if loop, so we won't do anything. At this point, we're done with the all the neighbors of node two, so we go into another while loop. So now we pop out one two, then. For its neighbor three, its new cost is one plus two is three. Three actually equal, equal to distance here. We're going to this pass right now. We only update the ways. So we won't do anything in the priority queue. We won't do anything in the distance. We just update the ways. Then the ways is updated by ways neighbor plus ways current. So basically it's uh pretty one and uh and the current is is one as well, so here it becomes two. What this means is that okay, I like your current ways. This is one way to two three, but I find another way uh to reach the shortest amount of time as well. So we will pass them together. Then for and other neighbors for one, zero or two is cost. New cost will be always be greater than the distance not. So we won't do anything here. So now we have two pairs still left in priority queue. We keep going. For north three, it's neighbor zero and one. None of this cost we, we like it, so we won't do anything. So now the last pair we left is three one. Uh the same. For the current one, it's neighbor zero, two, three. None of new costs will meet our requirements, so we won't do anything. We won't change any distance ways. At this point, we done all the priority queue. We just return the last elements of ways, which is two. Now let's see what are those ways to reach the shortest amount of time. From zero to three, the cost is three, and there's another one is zero, two, one, three. We got another cost as three. Okay, so we've done these examples. Let's look at the complete code. Uh, I press it here. You feel free to copy paste this code and uh, 
make your own version and compile my runtime scenario using on the code. Regarding with computation complexity, it's big of E plus one log V. E here means number of edge, V means number of node. The E also is just the size of rows here, and the V basis N. Now I'm going not going to go into too deeply so to say how Dystra had this complexity. The quick answer is just the memory that that because I think the purpose may be a little bit difficult. And for space complexity, we open graph here to assess the neighbors of current node easily. And we have ways distance prior to Q. So this three yeah, maybe priority queue has a little bit larger, but I think graph has the largest one because it contains all the edge of nodes. The length of a graph uh, for the first vector will be n. Then we compute push the edge into there, but we are, at most we push the edge of e. So each size is big of e plus v. So, so we take the maximum of the uh, graph size compared with the weights and distance. Okay, so I think that's about it. This algorithm is kind of a little bit complex, so if you want to get more feeling uh, to how this algorithm works, so you can follow the way I do previously to go over examples uh, one line by line, one line. I think that's all I want to talk today, and uh, feel free to left your question and comments on video below. And see you in the next video.